the Kasi Custom presents the 2019 Derby City Classic Nine Ball Championship. Hi again, everybody, and welcome to the 2019 DCC and the 21st edition of the World All-Around Pocket Billiards Championship. We're coming to you live in the AccuStats Arena here at the Horseshoe Southern Indiana for the 11th consecutive year. We want to express our appreciation to them for being such gracious hosts all these years. I'd like to take another opportunity to recognize our three main sponsors, Diamond Billiard Products, Simona's Cloth and Cyclop Pool Balls, along with Master Chalk and Outsville for what they've done to also help us make this event possible. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of the entire crew that we just recognized, thanks all of you. Just about every face here is familiar. That's what makes this special. We're a family. We're not just people going to a pool tournament. And without you, we don't have a pool tournament. So to all of you watching out there and to each and every one of you sitting here, our deepest gratitude for your support. Okay. Here's where we stand. 410 players started. There's five players left. When we have an odd number, someone gets a buy. That went to James Aranis. He's waiting for the next round. On the outer table, we have Niels Fine and Feder Gorst. They don't have rebuys, one of them's gonna go. And then we have our players here, where I now have the pleasure of introducing them to you. Our first player is from Paducah, Kentucky. This gentleman's a four-time representative of Team USA's Moscone Cup, and this year he helped bring the cup home and was awarded the Moscone Cup MVP also last night, he became a Derby City Bank Pool Ring Game two-time champion. It's hard enough to win one of those. This guy's probably gonna win a dozen more. He's sponsored by Miucci, by Kim Station Heartland, and by Lights Out Billiard Apparel. And by the way, he's undefeated. He's still got a bullet. It's Skylar Woodward. His opponents from Bislig, Sorgao del Sur, and the Republic of the Philippines. He's a two-time Derby City nine ball champion. He's going for number three. He has two Derby City all-around master of the table titles. Not many people can say that. And he's got a list long enough that it would take me an hour to go through. So we're just gonna go ahead from there and tell you that he's sponsored by Bugsy Promotions. We know him as Robocop, Dennis Okuyo. Let's go, here we go. Your referee for this match is Mr. Ricky Bryant. At this time, I'm gonna send it upstairs to the booth to Mark Wilson, and I believe it's Double J, Jeremy Jones, also a member of the One Pocket Hall of Fame. Congratulations to him, and congratulations to Scott Frost. He got in the Hall of Fame this year too, goodbye. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's watch some elite class nine ball with Skylar Woodward, Dennis Ercola on the table. This is truly going to be fun, and we love pool. I'm Mark Wilson, and alongside me is the best analyst in the game, Double J, Jeremy Jones. Jeremy, any preliminary thoughts here? Well, it kind of speaks for itself, these two guys. Uh, Skyler's really come on the last uh, year on the big table. A lot of great finishes. Undefeated still here uh, out of 410 players. Um, so I think no... no uh, no luck, no, you know, there's no coincidence that these two guys are here. I, I like Skyler in the match a little bit for some reason. I think he's just rolling really well. Mm -hmm. I don't want to jinx him, of course, uh, but I think he's just playing real well. I think he's got the breakdown how he likes it, which is a big, big thing here with the break rules. Um, but, of course, Dennis probably top three player in the world, so I mean, hard to bet against Dennis. Right. Still operating. Dennis has won the lag. This is a race to nine. And there's a lot involved in this match. I believe if Skyler was to win this match, that would eliminate Dennis from the nine ball, and Skyler would go on to be the master of the table. Uh, I believe that's what's at stake here. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So uh, kind of Skyler's in a good spot as far as he has a bullet left. So it's kind of in his hands to eliminate the guy that's threatening him for the all-around. So that's that's a nice position to be in, right? Yeah. So he's going to play the one in the corner here by the three. Pretty nice opening shot, really, to start the match. 
It got a little funny here, though, Mark. Because the side isn't so available with that kind of small angle trying to draw the ball out. Right. And the five, is, it doesn't appear like it easily goes by. I think it goes by the eight pretty easy, actually. Um, not easy, maybe, but I think most of the pocket's pretty, pretty much see. there. He should roll this in and just go to the center of the table and then take the cut on the four. No reason to come backwards here. He could if he wanted. Is, is he pulling this out? Shooting in this? Oh, he did. Like that. I would have shot it maybe in the corner. I didn't realize it was that easy. So now he can pull the ball around or he can hit it with a top inside, either one. Nine days of playing and playing a lot of pool. So these guys are pretty well dialed in. Now it's just a matter of battling fatigue. Well, him taking a little more time makes me think that maybe the five doesn't pass the eight. But I kind of think, oh, okay. So that, that may be problems there, Mark. And it is. He's got to bank this if he can see it at all. Yeah, he has a bank for sure. He's got a safety chip in the five trying to run the cue ball behind the seven, but that's not easy. He's going for the bank. And I think he should if he can see it. He's drawing it back to the rail now. That makes the bank play tougher, though. He wants to let a stroke out, though, so I don't blame Whoa, him. Oh, a shot. It was kind of like, all right, I could stun my ball, or I could just kind of let my yeah. stroke out a little, a little more and... Yeah, he was not one bit tentative about that shot. So, I mean, and you know the guys are in stroke for sure. It's just endurance now. Yeah, and it's, you know, getting a matter, a matter of getting a shot or two to get started. And I don't think that's a big problem for this level. But it's amazing to me after having a Banks tournament in front of this nine ball that it seems like to me uh, in the action matches and the tournament matches that I've watched, People bank at more balls. Yeah. That's weird. It's yeah. like they get pretty comfortable playing banks on uh, on the diamonds here after a week of it. All right. That's way short, Mike. Uh, excuse me, Mark. Mm -hmm. Nice out to open our match here. We've had uh, five matches today that we've covered on this table. Four of them, the guy that won the leg, broke and ran the first rack. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's how high quality the performances have been. Oh, yeah. And uh, who was it that opened the rack? Uh, it might have been Shane broke and ran the first three. Well, winter break format, that's so the lag's big in every, every format, but even more so here. Yeah, if the master of the table's on the line, that's a lot of money, too. That's that's an additional 20000 yeah, well, it's a, I think I, see it's I think on the they line. have first, second locked up, so it's really worth 15 because whoever gets second is going to get five or however it breaks down. I think that's how it is. It may be actually 23 and two. So Also, uh, it's not really so much in Dennis's hands because Sky still has a bullet, but if Sky could eliminate Dennis, that would lock it up for sure. Yeah. Right? Yeah, so, absolutely. So it's still up in the air if Dennis wins. And I wouldn't doubt if Dennis goes on to win this match that these two could draw each other, and that would be for it all. Arnie, he made the one. He made a couple balls on the break. He's going to get snookered by the seven. A lot more draw on the cue ball than we're used to seeing. That thing was hot coming off that first rail. Well, this this table, I think, compared to the outer tables, is a little slicker with the lights. Probably hasn't been played on quite as much. Yeah, you know, right. late night pool and whatnot. So well, probably draws a little bit easier. The other part of it. Those tables had four more hard days of wear because this was a 10-footer the first four days. And yeah, then they that's what I in. mean. Yeah, not right. near as much play. And, and you'll see at night, there's a game occasionally on this table or somebody playing a little bit, but overall they shut it down and you know yeah. they, they use the mini tournaments for the outer tables. And The other thing on this table that's a bit different than those outer tables is the set of balls gets polished after each match. Right. That'll definitely make a difference. Okay, he's going to use his extension on the rollout here, which I, I kind of agree. You got to be pretty. You got to be pretty uh, rock solid on where you're rolling out in these situations when there's some balls where he could hook you easily, and you certainly don't want to roll out offensively. What do you like here, Mark? You like playing the cue ball into the five 
off the rail into the five, try to bank the two up maybe, or go by the five and use the eight and nine. Yeah, I'm kind of cowardly. I like soft speed and just try to get, yeah, this was this worked out good. He just did the old bump and run, just make sure you don't sell out an easy shot. Yeah, he was trying to go by the five and get up and use the eight and nine, which was a good good play and really hard to pass that back. Yeah. So he may have an edge of this. Then he can try to introduce some blocker balls there. And this is where the no jump cues really start to come into play uh, when you're leaving a guy a really odd kick. Mm hmm. So he should kick two rails up the table here, kind of right before the side. Because the good thing is, you can bank the two back up, you can make it, and the cue ball's going towards that traffic if you can hit any kind of the good side of it. And it's sitting pretty nice. So I like two rails a little more than one rail here, don't you? It's a straight, oh, straight high ball. Yeah. And put some speed on it like that. Yeah, exactly. What and a see, nice you hit. You see how the ball's tracking behind that traffic. That's how you want it. What a nice hit. That's world-class pool right there. Good decision. Great execution. Yeah. Even with both of those things, it still doesn't have to work out. But it no. gives you a chance for it to work out more often. Than and it's just the visual. You really get the twos in your peripheral. You really get a nice line mm -hmm. on everything. That, that second rail gives you a nice guide. So this is where he's got to be careful if he's kicking with high ball on this slicker table. Oh, he caught it really thin. That's going to sell out a shot to Sky Woodward to get started here in game two. And that kick shot, we know what Sky can do with an open table, but that kick shot and just little other things and a little bit more... Uh, a little more strategy, a little more taking his time. But that's the things he's evolving to. So, and Oh, yeah, definitely a much more mature player than what he once was a couple years ago even. He showed us a different Sky Woodward at the International Open earlier this year. Oh, yeah. He went through a series of six world-class opponents. Sky won all six of those matches by a score, combined score of 66 to 27 yeah. against the best in the world. Not chumps, not the plumber, mm -hmm. real pool players. And that's just taking advantage of your opportunities and cleaning up a few things here and there. And, and with that kind of talent and already a guy that knows how to win uh, just from playing other events, that if somebody thinks that that means something just because it's not always the world-class event, but you're continually winning... That really helps. All right. Well, Van Boney. Um, Van Boney. Woodward. I was going to say he beat Van Boning at the International Open 11-4, I mm. believe it was. But uh, anyway, Woodward cleans up the mess after a great kick safety. Takes advantage of it. 1-1 one, one is our score. Yeah, and that kick, there's a lot of good ways to hit it, and you, you have a chance to make it as well. Yeah. So there's a lot going on with it. Good decision. Well, well struck. And I got to believe this is the part. I've watched a couple matches, and he was pretty successful on the break. But I got to believe this is the part he's really uh, probably doing better than his opponent. Um, the break? I, yeah, not saying that – That I'm just saying getting himself going on the, on the match, running some racks, and maybe not tons of racks, but if you're putting a, an extra rack or two together here and there throughout the match, it's pretty hard to beat. <laughs> yeah, you cannot mm -hmm. wrestle with Dennis Arcolo every rack. You've got to win some racks where Dennis doesn't get a chance to play if you want to separate yourself from him. Right, but that two ball, three railing in the side, that's what you're looking for. When you're hitting it right, you're making the one, and you're three railing that two right by the side. Now you take some chance that it does lay funny like this. Well, I'd like to see if that three wasn't there. I'm pretty sure he'd be cross corner in this two ball, but otherwise he's in a bad spot. Yeah. Can he three rail it around the uh, three in between the three seven and kind of force the ball forward? Boy, I don't know. It's, you what know what he, I mean? Get the two yeah. back behind the, uh, what is that, the seven ball that's yeah, near the cue ball? I think he can do that, too. Yeah, I think that, it's that, laying okay. That's actually, it looks. yeah, he, that's what he's pointing at now. That's where he would like the two to drop. I don't know. He might cross the two instead and just one rail it over and try and use a bunch of traffic and distance. Try and get the two out in the middle of the table. Okay. I much prefer your shot, the three-railer. Yeah, that's going to give up a shot. You see why? <laughs> I mean, well, he you take it some risk. thicker than he wanted, though. I think he wanted a lot more movement on both the cue ball. So. I would rather he kicked at the two in the side off the end rail rather than play that shot. Okay. The four passes the five pretty easily. So, Dennis, 
you see him when he's in line and they're open. He won't take that much time usually. Now he knows a lot's on the line here, so can't afford any silly mistakes. Okay, should come two rails out, I would think. He may float right in there also. That's nothing wrong with that like this. Leaves it real natural. Now what about the 8-9? You got to yeah. pay attention to that. We know Dennis is a great combination player. You still try to shy away from him because if you don't fall perfect on him, then the play is really difficult. And he got funny here, I think. I don't think he got anywhere he wanted to get. He wanted to get below that ball, I believe. I think he can two rail right at the eight. Yeah, but now you're talking about that combination, and I'm not, I think his intentions initially were to not play the combination. Right, so. right. Well, he's not going forward. It looks like he's stunning. Trying to use that talent. That's Man. what I'm, use that skill, that high wow. skill. Every now and again, you got to just say, "All right, I'm gonna just come one rail into a small position down the table." And it crosses across the position zone as opposed to into it. So that you got to be pretty nimble with your speed control on that. Yeah, just use your skills there. I mean, here and there. That's why. That's why on the simpler shots, the more natural shots, you pay attention to your. So when you need the good one, it's there. It's not something you're calling upon every now and again. You kind of do the same thing every mm -hmm. shot, right? That's the difference between a lot of uh, levels, especially, believe it or not, at the higher levels. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of guys that are just as talented but just make some mental errors still. Even when you're shooting the nine ball, you don't want to add difficulty, but you're still playing the cue ball to a specific place. Just don't hammer it in. There's right. still something to be done there. And yes. just to, that keeps you in that good mode, too. And you can see Dennis floated that cue ball in there off the end rail. It didn't go there naturally. You had to make it happen. and But he made it look like it was natural. Okay, so after three games, two to one and breaking. Let's see if we see as much draw as we did earlier. Okay, Quite a, a bit. little lighter oh, there, he, but watch the two ball. See the two ball tracking three rails towards the oh, side? Yeah. Oh, a bad kiss at the end. Plus, he was attacking the nine ball with the cue ball. He got that nine ball out of there hot. And now another very difficult place to roll out. Open table. Can't roll out to really any kind of cross-side bank or anything like that. I don't think that's even available. I don't know if he got to be pretty witty here, huh? If he could rub the two ball over across the table and bigger the nine and while it's a remote possibility. I don't think he can get at the edge of the two. I yeah, think he's dead. Uh, can he? No, I can't tell. It's, it's really I like your shot if uh, better than a rollout. Well, if he can get enough of the two, he can get it over behind the four and try and move at the nine. But that's what I was thinking, roll out to a combination of challenges to where you got to just chip the two safe and drift the cue ball down by the, what, what is that, the six? <laughs> yeah. Like this is the type, yeah. of, type of rollout that Shane rolls out to. And he bets that if you pass it back, he can chip that ball accurately and you can't. Oh, that's pretty good. It is. Real good. Nice shot. And if it, he made it look easy, I don't think it was actually laying as easy. That mm -hmm. was pretty delicate there. And from distance, froze on the rail. I think I go one rail at this. I know two rails you're looking like, all right, I can spin into it, but I like his chances one rail. He may get lucky here cross corner or cutting it in. Or, right. The reason to go two rails is that you take the corner pocket scratch out of it, but these guys are so accurate, they're going to hit the right hemisphere of the two. I think he would. He's going to go two, though. And so. this, this provides separation when you hit it. Yeah. When you hit it. Yeah, exactly. Foul, no contact. But I kind of wish he would have went with his gut a little bit more there. He was signed, lined up for the one rail initially, then just at the last moment decided to go two rails. No, this would be a, this is going to be a great match. I can just see the way it's starting off. Yeah, I'll tell you though. I think I like the way both guys are breaking the balls though. So it could get away from somebody pretty quick. Yeah, uh, they're both playing great. Obviously, down to the final five. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Got to pay attention to stay high here and off the rail. He doesn't want to fall straight in on the rail. Earlier today, I was talking about when 
you know, the pairings are fairly equal on paper, but still a lot of times a match can run away 9-2 just because of the opportunities that come up. And that's not a big win. It is at the players that play poorly where you got multiple innings. That's an enormous win. Somebody wins 9-2, they're going to win the next set, too. Here you can win 9-2 and then lose the next set 9-2. Oh, yeah. Playing the same guy. Skyler moving real freely around the table. Clearly very at home here on the TV table. 2-2 two is our score. Yeah. Something that a lot of the listeners might not know is that Skyler does have an ace in his pocket should he get in trouble in this match. Something that Dennis doesn't have, and that's if somebody could play the song from Alabama called Roll On. <laughs> Irrespective of who he's up against, he never loses. Did you know that? No, I've never. Uh, uh, maybe I did hear about that, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, he's never lost <clears throat> playing with that song, and he doesn't always use it. It's only when it's absolutely necessary. He's about the most loose, uh, carefree kind of a guy. Not that he doesn't care about it. I don't mean it like that, but he's got the perfect temperament for pressure pool. Oh, yeah. He just doesn't get upset, and he plays great behind it. Okay, missed the one a little bit more. He didn't want to hit it quite that thin. Now he's going to have a long-distance shot on the two, which we're going to see him attack, that's for sure. So it's fun to see the guys come with the long shots, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. It's kind of what we all want to want to get to sweat. Skyler and I were talking about this very shot just the other night, and the deal was that he has to keep his head still. And he used to lunge a little bit and get quick on his transition. Yeah. So, And this is the pressure ball. He knows he can win the game with this shot. Most likely he wins the game if he buries this shot. Yeah. And he also knows he's going to lose the game with this shot. You know, so yeah. that's, when it, that's when it brings that about. And, and this is one where you got to trust the thick aim. You know what I mean? It's not as much cut as people think. When you're hitting the ball well, it cuts easily. So usually it's missed to overcut, and that was a nice hit there. The head was still. The transition was smooth. It hit the heart of the pocket. It didn't wobble in. Couldn't hit it any pure. Yeah, and the eight passes, I think, not only in that corner by the seven, but also in the, <clears throat> in the same side pocket. Excuse me. That very shot right there bodes well for Skyler going on and doing quite well in this match. Mm. Kind of what I was talking about a minute ago. I really, if anybody I see, maybe getting going, really getting going, and just not letting the other guy shoot. Of course, Dennis can do that at any time, but I suspect usually Skyler's got his break working no matter what the scenario is if, yeah. if he's running deep in the tournament. Not only does he play great, but he's just running racks on people. So This guy's really considering building into the nine. I think he can take a, a, a fairly risk-free chance and yeah. just but not... Then it bumps over and ties up the seven, and you're jacked up over the... I just... Yeah, I like him doing that there. Right. Making the decision from there, I think. As it goes in he, both side pockets, doesn't it? Yes. And as long as he, but he's got to get up top here. I don't think he can easily play it with a back cut. No, he, he's going for that. Okay. But he's not going to get real, real close to the No, eight. it goes in the same corner as the yeah. seven. That's as long the, as that's, that's what the case, it, yeah, originally, yeah. yeah. You just got to float your ball a little bit past it. That being the case, he's perfect. Yeah, you won't play two rails here. Just kind of float it by it. Keep it simple. High quality break and run out right there. Woodward three, Arcolo two. These are fast-paced matches when you have firepower supreme with these talents out on the table. Yeah, and that's another thing uh, that I think Sky's a little more aware of is just do his thing. No matter the situation, he's going to be playing in big, big moments a lot. Mm-hmm. So, and this is, a, you know, money-wise, this is the biggest probably match in the tournament. Yeah, right. So, as far as the master of the table and not only the nine-ball event. It's just more of a process, match after match after match. 
three balls, the wing ball. The one There's ball. a one. See the two tracking, but the cue ball is two. He's got, he's, oh, oh, this might corner hook him. How cold would this be? Well, and it did. not as bad as a... <laughs> Not as bad as a scratch, <laughs> yeah. obviously. But he went across the table and got kissed by the spot and then right. came towards right. the side. So it wasn't like he directed it one rail towards there, which happens a lot with this t cut break. Right. I think he's got to roll out to the back rail, kind of just... just on, you know, where he can't shoot the two and get back for the three. Like somewhere between the three and eight, maybe. Hmm. I mean. Yeah, yeah. You could roll out somewhere kind of over by the nine also. That's not a bad place because that gives you a little angle to move the cue ball just in case you get it back. It's certainly hard to tie Is up Is he rolling ball. out to a jump shot? No, I don't think. All right, he's coming off the four or the five. And that's kind of what I mean, just somewhere where you have an angle to cross the ball over or figure something out. Mm -hmm. He's not necessarily going to get back. I would have tried to make this as tough as possible because I think he's going to cross this and come right one rail right back towards the three and use the five, five six as blockers. Just kind of lay the two on the other side of the table. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice shot. A lot of things have to go just exactly right. Yeah, but the reason I wouldn't have left him full on this, if he wants to roll this in, the three becomes makeable with the eight there. Oh, he went for the cross corner. I think he got a double kiss. Yeah, and he's going to get... funny coming off of yeah. there. Yeah. He definitely got a double kiss. He went for the make, though. That's why he was really aiming on it. He wasn't just crossing it over yeah. and playing the cue ball back. Okay, he's got a duck here. He's got to run the cue ball a few rails, kind of where he's standing now and trying to use the nine as a blocker. Distance is still his buddy, though. Oh, he cut it in. What a great shot. He's going to run into the nine, too, or right in between. How good is he playing? <laughs> World-class shot. Well, these guys are starting to feel the heat of, of Sky Woodward, I think. I don't think there's any question about it anymore. They always, they've been feeling it on the bar table for a long time. Yeah. I yeah. think the big table's about getting about the same deal. I know he always had that reputation as a bar table player, but it's primarily because that's all it was around the Midwest, so it looked like he just plays bar table. Right. Actually, he was fantastic on the nine-footer then. Boy, his game has come a long way. He's always been a great player, but now he's starting to he's trying to push into the elite category as opposed to the really good category. Oh, absolutely. Well, it's kind of as much as anything is have the attitude of you're not satisfied. Mm -hmm. You know, there's a he, there's nothing. Right. He, there's a lot of things he should be have a lot of satisfaction over, but when you're in this type of element. Yeah. To really get it done and keep getting it done, you got to not be satisfied. Uh-oh. It's fine. It's a little closer than he wanted, for sure, yeah. by about four or five <laughs> inches, probably. But I had a minor heart palpitation, but it's okay now. Back calm again. And he's really learned a lot as far as making the game a lot easier on himself. He's got a great stroke, and... He had another break and run out. No, he had a save. No, no, there yeah. was a, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice cut shot on the two. It might as well have been a break and run out. The, Ooh, what uh, a cut shot he made on the two ball. And the tough push out, he put Dennis in a predicament that Dennis didn't want to pass it back, but it, even though it was iffy, he tried something that was just even a little bit over his head. Failed. Skyler came back and capitalized. And just what you were saying about Skyler's game, right before the right Moscone Cup, he was coming back to to Paducah from some tournament somewhere, flew in, called me. You at the pool room? I said, yeah. You mind if I come in and hit some balls for a while? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, I love it. Oh, yeah. Such a cheerful guy. He's got that one down cold-blooded and the three, the two ball going three rails toward his side. A bad kiss on the cue ball, though. He's going to give up ball in hand. After a two-game lead here at 4-2, to two, uh, it's probably going to get cut in half. And nothing wakes somebody up. But I'm not saying Dennis, he really hasn't done a whole lot wrong. He got a double kiss in the last game on the two ball. But 
Right. Well, that ball in hand will sure get you going. <laughs> yeah. It emboldens you. Yeah, it's the remedy and for everything. If you're dogging it, that's like one of the worst things you could do. You got your opponent dogging it and then give them ball in hand. Mm hmm. Now he's going to come out and play the three by the nine. I believe, anyways. Could play the three nine, but. And he may. And now he got a little funny. He got a little thin. A little off angle on the combination. Uh, makes me think he's just playing the three. Going to hold for the four on the side, but he's got to kind of float it a little bit. That also surprise you sometimes on these. Oh, wow. <laughs> there it was. Yeah. But the, the truth of the matter is, from our perspective, I'm telling you, on the table, some of those things look easier than mm -hmm. it does to us from here. We're, right. we're 30 feet away. And when you when you look at the shot here on the overhead, sometimes you think it doesn't go very good. And then you get down there, well, I think I drive a truck through there. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> so... And Dennis is not going to make mistakes on shot selections. That well, yeah, I agree with that. Seldom. I'm no, yeah, yeah. No, I agree with you on that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, I mean, I remember playing him in 2005, I think, in the World Championships. He was in my group, and I beat him. And I played him actually two times in the World Championships in my group. And uh, I could see how he could play, and he still needed to just – Mature a little bit on the game, maybe yeah. a little bit, and then he does the same thing in one pocket. Just uh, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't take long his no. mind the way it works. But yeah, he's got the execution part, not necessarily the strategy back then, but he's got the strategy now, and that's a little bit easier to acquire than the, the other skills. Okay, so here we go. I'm not sure the two goes, but is he going to bank it long rail? He could play a carom on the five, also. Well, Filipino players like carom shots. I don't mind him. But, like, is he going to go for the bank, or is, is he going to... Is it the bank wins the game? The 3-8 is an easy combination. I think he's banking at it. And he missed it long. He's going to leave a cut shot on the two. It's definitely going to get shot at. I think he should have maybe just stopped his ball on that bank. I know. I think he would have made it at a little higher level, a higher rate. Yeah. Yeah, when you throw a little backspin on there, that complicates it for sure. Oh, yeah. Look at that nice shot. A little bump on the three. It looks going to be okay with the eight hanging. So, here he's got a decision, though. Does he float this and, and take a little chance with the three going in behind the eight? Does he kind of pinch draw into the six, maybe? Lightly, because that way if you make it, you got the four ball probably. Right. So, I don't know. This is touchy, and he's stretching. So he's got he's got a decision here. Well, the one thing, if you think about... Uh, make them both and just come around both. for no, position? just and take a longer shot, you know, just because you played it. That's a good good yeah. touch there. And again, he's close to it, even though he's stretching, so he should have been able to put a pretty good touch to where he knew he wasn't going to make the three. Right, right. Okay, he's got to figure out the four just because getting from the five to the six is very important. It's not easy. Going to have to move the ball from one end of the table to the next and into somewhat of a small area. It's not going to be easy to get the three-cushion position on the six from how flat he got no, on he the got, four. Yeah, so. he got real flat. And that's surprising to me. I'm not so sure that was intended, but... Well, I think the rail first thing kind of provided this, and it helped the cue ball get up table, but it didn't provide you yeah. the right angle. I think he should have forced the Just object Just chipped ball it in maybe a little more than, and ran into the center, right? Yeah. Yeah. I like the center of the table on the four. That way, like Mark said, he could get an angle on the five to naturally move now around got, the table. Now he's got to use stroke and speed control. He's, so he's mm -hmm. got to create the direction and govern the speed. That's two variables. The other way, if he gets it up in the center... To cut this in, come around three three rails. He's got the direction already going. Right, That's and it's a speed. natural stroke. You know, it's more of just a hit on the ball that gets you going with a little help. But right, once he course, fell on the yeah. four that way, then there was no choice. And, and, you know, so. and he'll probably make this look easy, but okay, that's the way you like. That's you know, uh, no, you don't want to settle rail. into the rail. You know, he was hoping to hit the rail just before the side pocket, but no, he kind of quick stroked it a little bit and caught a little heavy. That was the first stroke that was a little bit. Uh, you know, just a hair off. It wasn't bad, but 
It was I a touchy shot, so. Completely agree. And this is what happens when you're playing great. You can bail yourself out. Well, you just bear your, you know, bear down. You kind of make yourself realize, hey, yeah. I didn't hit that one great, but let me do the same thing I've been doing, you know, which is take yep. my time, be in my rhythm, shoot from there. And Tyler Woodward setting a blistering pace here at 9.52 TPA. 5-3 in front. Dennis is playing well also. He's way over pro class, right on the edge of world class at 8.93. Well, I'll tell you, Dennis has a lot of fans everywhere, and deservedly so, but uh, Skyler's kind of won over the... Uh, the yeah. pool world here the last few years in America, in my opinion, and deser very deservedly so. Yeah, there you see it. 25 balls pocketed for Dennis, 40 for Woodward. That's all you have to know. Yeah. Who made the most balls in this match? That's who wins. Yeah, and Dennis got a ball in hand, I believe, uh, with not many on the table, and then also played a combination early. One on the side. Watch the two ball if he hits it well. It should. Oh, I got a kiss there. He cut it too much. That's why he missed the one as well, and he didn't make a legal break. Nor was there a lot of ball action there. That was weird. Kind of yeah, he, cut him, he yeah. cut him way too much. Oh, okay. He cut, yeah, you just that glance. You don't. You want to cut him, of course, but you want it to be almost as thick of a cut as you can stand, still going to the rail and coming back through the rack, because you need energy into the rack to make mm -hmm. sure you get balls moving, making them, and making a legal break. So, One of the things, you know, when you have the cut break, naturally the cue ball's moving and it's moving through a lot of traffic, so it gets clipped a lot of times by an object ball. And sometimes it gets kissed into the side pocket. And that's ugly. And then you talk about getting kissed in. But then, when I'm watching, just as many times it gets kissed out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and we never mentioned that part of it. <laughs> We got a 1-9 possibility here. I don't think he snookered him on any part of the one. I think he's got an open one ball. and not saying he should play the combo, but if this safety is just as delicate. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of good things that can happen right. here. Uh, if you butcher it and hit it, the it three. It could go off the five. It could right. go off the seven. It could go off the three a hair. Yeah. I mean, the, and not only that, you could get safe. You could make the one. If you hit it bad, you could make the, 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 the green six. Well, I think he's going to elevate here and hit this with some speed. Because he's got him. I don't think he can go forward with the cue ball. You're you're bringing in a scratch in that corner, especially with a, a, a ball hit with a lot of a lot of speed. So yeah, I I don't think he's a big underdog here, Mark. Not at all. To make it. Great uh, call. Great call. He moved it though, and see what can happen. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta. Rearranged the furniture, the three and the four lined up funny. Sky's laughing. I love it. Yeah. Loose attitude. Well, Sky, he's got a lot of charisma, you know. He doesn't say much in certain situations, but he's usually pretty good when he does. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Anyone that's ever been around him is going to love him. Yeah, and this has got to go a hair. He, he wouldn't mind a little bump, actually, on the right kind. Gorgeous shot, though. Yeah. Gorgeous shot. And really keeping Dennis. Uh, oh, yeah. This is the way you have to play Dennis. If you want to get past him, you have to keep him handcuffed. Yeah, and just play the percentages as far as, okay, I know it's Dennis or Coolio, just like Efren. Efren kicked the best, but you still got to keep him kicking. And, you know, you still yeah. got to take your chances with, yeah. with the hooks. Well, this is, you know, this is tough. Dennis can't really play his normal game because he can't play a kick shot. He's got a kick to hit here. Yeah, two rails. There's, He's got a lot of good things that can happen coming from that bottom rail, though. Oh, he, why did he bend it so much? I want... He was, yeah, that's I weird. I didn't understand that's that. That's weird. I, I thought he could kick a two natural rails, it looked like, pretty easily about to the first diamond with a lot of spin on the bottom rail. It looked like he moved his bridge hand and miscued. Almost, um, he, you know, almost I mean, like he kind of let up on it, too, and it really bent a lot more than he wanted, that's for sure. Okay, yeah. what a trouble, little bit of trouble here, just because the eight's in the way to float down here just straight for the three in the side. So he could do a couple things, though. I like him putting him behind the two. Uh, well, he's going to come two rails this way and go around. So he's going to try and hit it pure going mm. going a good 10, 10 feet, two rails out and over to play the three in the side. So even with ball in hand, a very uh, yeah. high-stressed shot. 
Because if you overhit, you could be in a bad spot. Wow. Looks like it's perfect. It's Round of applause for that shot. Yeah, that's oh, just wow. great. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's world class. Looks like he has ball hand now. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, and that's, uh, you know, hey, on a video game, that's the shot you would shoot, right? So it's probably the right shot, even though it's a tough shot to say, I want to mm -hmm. shoot with ball in hand. Mm -hmm. You know, if you had played position there, yeah. you get down and do it, right? But ball in hand, you're looking for something that, that has a little less stress involved. And guess what? If it goes off in your hand or if you end up short, you're in a really bad spot. Mm -hmm. if it, you know, if you hit it really hard, it go, you get behind the nine and you're, you're hooked. If you hit it short, you're on top of the three and not in a good position either. Now you can see Skyler has never played better. Oh, yeah. Okay. Not sure about that. He kind yeah. of punched it. He didn't really follow the ball much there. Just as I say that, yeah. he, he comes with the... APA six level shot. <laughs> yeah, he's a good two feet away from where he wanted to be. Much more full on the five and had the angle to do it on the four. Just just run the cue ball and he kind of just punched it with that extension stretching. So big shot for Sky Woodward right here at five to three. Do you draw it and just go into the ball or you just hit it with a high ball? You I hit go it with, with a high, high ball. ball. I, okay. Just be, well, you got to smooth it right. or else it get oh, away from you. Exactly. This is all about ball pocketing. Not, yeah, that's forget, what I mean. You got to smooth it or get away from you. Well, you just can't be cute with that one. You got to make sure you make it. Yeah, but I'm saying the read was you're going off that ball to the end rail and, and running. Yeah. So I think to yeah. cut in the five, you really looking at the shot, you had to kind of smooth it a little bit. That's why I was saying drawing off of it, you, mm -hmm. you know, you at least take a little longer shot on the six. But, but I think. Yeah, I think the idea is that he was going all out and didn't accept right. and hoping that maybe it doesn't land this time. And it could have hit the eight. It could have right. done a number of things. That's what I'm saying. He could have. He, he knew he might have another tough one, but he was taking a chance to not get a tough one. Right. And not only that, if he knew also if he just gets that look, he's probably going to bury it. As long as there's a, a, a look at the ball. Now he has got doesn't have a full pocket here. But what a great shot he just made. I mean, out of the pocket, he had to roll that into the side. That was not easy and very missable. If you if you lose your timing a little bit, you're going to miss that. Or if you're shaking, yeah. Yeah, I don't think old country boy is shaking too bad right well, now. Well, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, at a bad kind of shaking, you know. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that little bit of nerves, but when you're prepared for him, boy, you, you, you do great things usually. He looks at home. out that was <laughs> old country boy he's coming through totally taking charge two-thirds of the way through the match yeah and the ball and hand shot was almost as, i mean there were three or four tough ones but to have to shoot that shot with ball and hand pretty tough that loud thump you heard here in the booth that's jeremy's wallet hitting the floor uh, god knows quite. how many how many bitcoins you got in there not quite so Sky to Woodward at six to three now after nine games. We're racing to nine and we're down to the final five here in the 21st Derby City Classic. Blistering pace by Woodward, 942. And a couple times he's fallen just a little short of the mark. He's come up with great big uh, quality recovery shots. Yeah, the cut on the two early uh, after Dennis had made a mistake where I thought he was playing safe and he cut the ball in and came around. Okay, here's that two ball again. That was his good break it's right there. It's got to go, though, he, again. It's yeah, but go. He, I mean, he, he really hit that well. Here's that cross corner we were talking about, I was talking about mm -hmm. earlier. Now he's got some options. He can follow through this and guide the cue ball down behind the eight. <laughs> he got right where he just is. You know, oh, it's just bad, Jeremy. Well, he's going to cross corner. I think, I think he can follow through this like a one pocket shot and guide the cue ball behind the eight and kind of lay the two ball up a couple rails behind the three, I think. It's close. I like him shooting at it. I know a couple of years ago we were in Iowa and we were in a bank ring game and we got to betting on these cross corners on a 10-footer in the bank ring game. And yeah. He said, don't worry, Jeremy, bet on me. And he never missed a one of them. I mean, he just made every one of them. <laughs> that is and exactly they, him. And they weren't easy. And this is the shot I was talking about right here. It takes a good touch. Oh, but I like the shot. I think I think it was there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, he 
Like broke the ball is great. Just an inch or two either way on the Anything. two ball, and he has a shot. Looks like he made a nice shot, but nevertheless, RoboCop now at the table. Went very open here, so chalk fell on the table. I'm sure he'll notice it. Yeah, RoboCop's in a hurry here to collect back a game or two. <laughs> Cue ball barely comes to rest. You'll see Dennis do that sometimes. Just one stroke everything for a little while. Just oh, like yeah. to kind of, I'm not going to exert myself. I'm just going to run out like I know how. Kinda looks like he's practicing right now. Yeah. Or not well, even practicing, no. just kind of hitting balls a little bit. Because Dennis is a fierce yeah. a person when it comes to practicing. Can't tell, but I think it's three to three in the Gorst uh, Niels band oh. match. It's quite a ways down there. So. I think that's what it's, it reads from here. Dennis at six to four. Woodward leading the match, six to four. Trailing. Looks like it's three to one. Oh, three to one. All right, here we go. Well, the carpet, it's playing tricks on me. Arcolo breaking, four ball on the wing, trying to make the one on the side. A little too much cut, but still making balls, though. And we're going to see a safety over there behind the... Seven, nine, and eight, I believe, with right. the three up behind the four, probably, something like that. This yeah. guy's delighted that uh, he'll be facing a kick shot <laughs> oh, because that means yeah. he will be coming to the table. The For three sure. ball falls upward just a little bit. Dennis likely would run out. Now, Dennis needs to be real aware of trying to get the three behind the four, I believe. He's going to play it just shorter, but I think that's a little bit of a mistake. I'd want my opponent to have to come more upward with the cue ball when he kicks. Yeah. Because the reason is because if you leave it downward, okay, that's that's what you want. But if you leave it downward, he can kick easier, obviously, but also he can make more separation. Now he doesn't really, he's not really looking at kicking. Right. Say, the, say the three was on the first diamond and you got the cue ball higher. Yeah. And now he, he can kick and send the three up and use the six, eight, nine and all that. Seven, eight, nine, excuse me. Playing, going going playing for the, the make. make. Yeah. Yep. And Dennis not taking much time at all. A little off angle. Three in the corner, it looks like. No, that's pretty much straight in. Yeah, you'll see this every once in a while. Dennis will just ramp up the uh, intensity by going super fast just to kind of get some momentum on his side and make it look like he's not afraid. Watch how sweet he hits this just coming across the table. He's so good at that, just the timing, so perfect. Even when he has more angle than that, he just real clean. Yeah, nobody hits more balls than Dennis Arcova. Pretty much. It used to be Cliff Joyner, maybe, but... And there it is. Quick game back. 6-5 now. All right. Sacramento coming through. Perry Jones informs us that it's 4-1. Neal's down table. Oh, it is 4-1. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Perry. She's a great person. I mm -hmm. like her. Skip. Good dude. Making the one. Much more of the hit he wanted on the one. Looks like he's going to get a shot. Uh, no. Another cross corner as he shoot at it because I believe it's a game winner with the three kind of over the pocket. He could easily play safe behind the four. He could just roll up. Nothing wrong with that. 
but I know he wants to bank at it. He's going to roll up on the four. But he's like, all right, I'm on the fence. All right, if he rolls up on the four, the speed is the two will be near the rail, leave a long rail kick that's not bad for Sky. So I say maybe bank at this, Mark, especially with the four or five there, too. I think he might. Well, I think he's just rolling. Yeah, he is. Yeah. He's not banking at it. He's just lightly putting him on there. Okay, it's out there a little ways, so the, the kick isn't so easy, the long railer. 5-1, Niels. Okay, he's going to try and come two rails. He's going to try and hit right before the side, but he's got to avoid the eight also doing that, so it's a little touchy. How about still, the point, too? That kind of comes into play itself. Yeah, you'd right? want to hit right before the side if you can. You'll still catch the two on that slick table like that. See? And wow. then you got a lot of things to hook him with. Oh, and that's goodness. why I, that's wow. why I'm saying if I'm Dennis, I'm on the fence. About not banking. About not yeah. banking because the four or five are there. He could have made the ball. A lot of things could have happened for Sky. But with great so good, players. You know? With great players. They're going to hit it. Yeah, and that's what I mean. If I'm leaving them a real good kick and they got cover and I got this bank, I'm making like eight out of ten. Right. You know, it's right, like, right. That's and a I get to sit call. them down for a little while. <laughs> with <laughs> bad players, just lock them down. But with good players, you, you yeah. might not. Now, Dennis is, now he's going to have to win the game from much less of a shot than that. Without doing anything wrong, really, either. Right. You know, it's just right. a matter of just what you think is going to happen. You have to kind of have a little thought on, oh, what do I think is really going to happen here? I play safe, they're going to run out on me. And, then, and another thing, it was a game winner. If he makes it, the three's there, the table's open, I think he's going to run out. Yeah. It's almost like a little alarm went off in his head, Dennis, there for a minute, saying mm -hmm. that, hey, maybe I should really bank at this. You know, mm -hmm. he was thinking, well, what am I leaving? Right. You know, and... And there's nothing wrong with the snooker at the Moscone Cup uh, this year. We really talked about that, securing the snooker. Doesn't always have to be a devastating snooker, but make him kick. And a race to five, that is. And so it's huge, right? Right. Race to five, so make sure you get the hook. But it's probably no different here. I mean, if you get... I, I would say not, because yeah. you can't just... What are you going to do? Just say, oh, I'm going to play loose or early. Yeah, and no, then, no, no. This yeah. level, they don't do that. It, it's, right. it's really no different. It's immaterial. But, if the right shot is the right shot. Right. And that's and that's kind of what I mean on the opposite end. If it was the Moscone Cup, a race to five, and you got looked at with that, with that bank or playing safe, yeah. maybe the bank was the right shot because the kick, you're leaving these great players. Yep. You know? with the cover that was there and a little friendly bump on the five ball. It goes by the eight, though, and you can see the six, seven. So this is the shot. They hit the heart of the pocket nice. Yeah. With pace, he can draw back now. Using a little bit of the rail there, but very intended, meaning he, he, right. it's a little bit slick in there, so you can rub him in a little bit. You hate to miss the bank and lose because you second guess yourself. Like maybe if I would have tightened down, I wouldn't have given that up. But with these great players, I don't think you should. I, don't, I no, think you, you should just play. commit, right? right? Yeah. I mean, they they've come to realize one mistake. I mean, you're lucky if you get the chance to make up one mistake all the time to lose a game. <laughs> so right. Right. Exactly. You make one mistake to lose five or six games. That's a lot of times how it is. Not only in, a, in tournaments or but we're talking about in the, in the challenge matches as well. And that's not even necessarily alternate break either. Not just winter break. I mean, it seems like alternate break when you make a mistake. Then you break and don't get a shot on your next break. And this yeah. goes wrong. Oh, you got to yeah. play safe. They kick out of it. You know, so... There Things just happen. Yeah, so the, the old pool guard theory. Dennis played a great safety, came back kicking for his life, lost the game. Mm -hmm. So he never did get a shot as good as that bank. Right. And it was a good bank, too. It wasn't bad at all, just sitting him right in the face to a, to a pretty big corner pocket. I'm very conservative. I would bet even money that he makes it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'd bet way more than even money. You make it. And the guys that don't play as well as Dennis, you know, I think it was a, mm -hmm. now this may be close to one he can almost jump with his playing cue, but because mm. it's just an edge, I think. A 
Bill Skyler is pretty nimble. Yeah, and I, I don't. Maybe it's not there. Okay, he's got to think here though, because the three doesn't pass the five. I don't believe, and it's not an easy combination. Mm -hmm. So here's where you might consider. Hey, let me figure out a place to get a few more shots at this. Mm-hmm. Uh, that meaning a rollout. Here's the thing. He, he could try to tangle the six up on the seven here as a push out. And but, go down table with the cue ball. He, he also has to forecast he's going to be buried behind, behind the, the five. five. right. Okay, so if you don't like that scenario, then let's do something else. Right, but if you can be pretty successful on tying those balls up, as long as you don't think you're not going to get a very good kick, I mean, you're going to be behind the five, but you should be able to kick and hit the ball. So your percentages still go up on getting another turn. And especially if you can get the six on the seven. Right, right. He is thinking about jump. Oh, Massé. Oh, wow. What a shot. How did he hit that? My goodness. That really helps. Wow. That really helps because now he's got control of the table again. Yeah, cut this in and go back and forth and take the cut on the four, I think. I don't think there's any question here. You cut this in and, and just go back and forth, kind of where the three is a little bit of high on the three right now. Don't try to move with inside. You can if you feel real good about it, but I like simplifying the shot. Yeah, make the ball. Get yeah, the and then you got plenty of area to cut the four in from the good side of the table. Oh, he put inside. He's feeling real good, Mark. Ooh, perfect. Wow. Look at the speed. Wow, what a shot. Now, to get the speed right, you have to hit the pocket here. Yeah, just the way you anticipate it. That That's was just, yeah, that was, that was clean as a, never a doubt, really. That was essentially that to make that shot and have it all happen, that's putting an arrow in the back of an arrow. Oh, yeah. But just trusting the stroke makes everything happen. That's the that's the beauty of it. That's how I really know it's a sport. Because it's not as much aiming and all that as people think. It's really emotion oh. that, that does it all. So Yeah. Especially when you talk about the great players. Everybody aims good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's not <laughs> Exactly, <a> <laughs> yeah. How good do you move your cue? Right. You ask anybody where to hit the ball at, they can put their tip up against the object ball and show you exactly where you need to hit it. Yeah, that's the easy part, that's for sure. And what yeah. a great out. And how many how many great shots have we seen Boy. in just a, you know this short race to nine? Of course, it's about to be eight to five, though. Well, country boys putting it out, putting it down here. Yeah, but what can Dennis do? I mean, Nothing. No. Curved <laughs> the two in and just cut yeah. the three with inside. Fell perfect on the four. And, of course, the rest of them look easy after those two shots, Mark. Wow. No, this is incredible. But this is the way you have to play if you want to get through this field. He navigated Carlo Beato earlier today. I, I, it's just a litany of fantastic names everybody's heard of in his wake. And that's what I mean as far as just I think Sky's in a little bit more of a, a mental state to take the matches over more than I've seen by yeah. most of the other players. He's approached this match. He's not one bit intimidated. He's mm -hmm. played as a game, and he's played very well. You can see he's super sharp. And he's not out of the woods, though. Oh, Eight no. To five. No, he's not at all. Not he's... at all. He... Yeah. Okay, is he going to get back across for a cut on the two? And I think he is. And I think the four is going to be out of the way as well. So everything in hit right in line for Sky Woodward to go undefeated into what would maybe be the final three. You know, um, a six past the eight, that's the real question, Mark. The confidence level of this guy, and you can see it. It's, you can just see him maturing here in the last oh, six yeah. months. He's And his stroke's just so good. It just opens the pocket up so much. I mean, yeah. he just hits the ball clean, clean, clean. The object ball's always got good overspin on it. Mm -hmm. It's very rarely ever a punchy kind of ball. That's where he's really cleaned it up, I think, all as far as fundamentally on a big table. Okay, so the six, he had a bunch of looks at it, so it must be a little bit tight. And shooting from that angle mm -hmm. makes it a little funnier, believe it or not. Yeah. Now, this is Sky. Keep your head still and your transition smooth. You're fine. But if you get jumpy, if you start anticipating there could be a clip on the eight or a miss, Man. It, it's going to happen. And when you talk about shooting to a portion of the pocket, you just give it a good look and trust it. I don't really believe we're accurate enough to aim for half a pocket. You just have to trust what's going to happen, that it is good aim. I'm just good really job. one shot away from moving on and being in the driver's seat. I think it's, this, this could take the master of the table and be in the driver's seat to win the nine ball. Okay, 
and it looks like just a little top English. I think he's got a hair of an angle to go forward out for the nine in the opposite corner. Wow, what a performance. Yeah. What is his TPA? Let me look down there. 950? At least. Wow, Can you see it? shooting there by Sky Woodward. And Dennis Okoyo won heck of a tournament. It's going to finish somewhere on the master table list, uh, but it's not going to be first place. I think Sky Woodward just wrapped that up. <laughs> Good old country boy. All right, got to love that performance. That gets you invigorated. We've had a long day here, but I feel some adrenaline from that. Yeah, That's, me too. Makes me want to go hit some balls. Thank you very much, Sky. Thank you for joining us on AccuStats, continuing coverage of the Derby City Classic Nine Ball Championship. That's our time for this time. Until next time, so long.